In this video, I'll show you how to solve optimization problems in calculus. This is question eight. A manufacturer of USB storage devices produces up to 100 devices per week. Past experience shows that the manufacturer can sell X devices per week at a price of P of X is equal to 600 minus 3X. The cost of producing X devices per week is represented as C of X is equal to this expression in dollars. Part A asks, find the weekly revenue function R of X. So they want us to produce a new function called revenue. And what revenue means for a company is the total amount of money they make. To find the revenue for this particular company, we'll need to take the number of devices sold, which is represented by the letter X, and multiply it by the price per device, which is represented by this capital P, 600 minus 3X. So for A, revenue, R of X is equal to X times 600 minus 3X. Now I'll expand the right side where I end up with 600X minus 3X squared. Rearranging this, I end up with the following equation. In part B, they ask, find the weekly profit function P of X. To calculate profit, we'll need to subtract our revenue from the cost of the device. Now we've been given C of X already, and we just derived revenue. So for part B, little p of X is equal to negative 3X squared plus 600X minus this equation, 1,000. And make sure that you put this function in brackets. 1,000 plus 150x plus 0.5x squared. And this is why it's important to put in brackets, because had you not put it in brackets, then this negative on the outside wouldn't have influenced those terms. So we end up with negative 3x squared plus 600x. That part doesn't change. Minus 1,000 minus 150x and minus 0.5x squared. You'll notice now that this and this term are alike, this term and this term are alike. So we're going to combine them where we end up with negative 3.5x squared. Combining these terms, we end up with plus 450x and the minus 1,000. The next step is to find the critical points. And to do that, we first have to find the first derivative of this function and then set it equal to 0. So it's two steps. Let's go ahead and do that. Taking the derivative of this term gives us negative 7x. The derivative of this term gives us plus 450. And the derivative of this term goes to 0. We denote derivatives with this prime. Next, I'll set this equal to 0. 0 is equal to negative 7x plus 450. We need to solve for this x, so I'm going to bring this over. And therefore, x is equal to negative 450 divided by negative 7. Using our calculator, negative 450 divided by negative 7 gives us a positive number of approximately 64.28. 64.28 is equal to x. So what does this number represent? 64.28 represents the number of USBs devices created. Now, since you can't have 0.28 of a USB device, you can either use 64 or 65. It is totally up to you. So for the rest of this problem, I'm going to use 64, but by all means, you can use 65. So now that we found our critical point, what we have to do for part C is prove that this will produce the maximum profit. So by producing 64 USB devices, this will ensure that a profit is maximized. But how do we prove this? Well, what you have to do is look at the restrictions. We were told that the manufacturer can produce up to 100 devices per week. So our next step is to substitute 0, 100, and the number 64 into our formula for profit, which happened to be this one right here. And let's see what happens to our profit at each one of those points. So let's go ahead and do that next. When little p is at 0, this term goes to 0 because 0 to the power of 2 is 0 times anything is 0. This term also goes to 0. And this term goes to negative 
1,000. So if you don't produce anything, you're going to be negative 1,000 profit dollars. Next, we'll try P at 100, inputting 100 into these X values. And next, using our calculator, negative 3.5, 100 plus 450 times 100 minus 1,000 gives us 9,000. So technically, if this manufacturer produces 100 devices, they make a profit of 9,000. Let's try at 64. P at 64, negative 3.5, 64 squared plus 450 times 64 minus 1,000, negative 3.5, 64 to the power of 2, plus 450 times 64 minus 1,000. And this gives us 13,464. So if we were to look at this on a graph, where this right here represents the number of devices and this represents profit, at zero you've made negative 1,000, at 100 you would have made 9,000, and at 64 you would have made 13,464. So it would look like this. And that's proof that at 64 devices made, you'll make a maximum profit. And so there you have it. That is how to solve optimization problems in calculus. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.